everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a holiday haul. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying we did not go on a spending holiday, we went on a family holiday. I did vlog it, I didn't vlog absolutely everything, but I did vlog as much as I could. And that vlog is already uploaded, so I'll link that in the description box. As well as all my social networking, all that will be in the description box below, so you can go check that out if you want to. Um, also, the quality of this video should be a bit better right now because the lighting is very, very good right now. There's, it's quite a bright day, but it's not. But it's quite sunny, but it's not sunny enough for me to film just with natural light. I have got a studio light, um, and I do look really, really pale, like I always do. But yeah, I am going to get started in what I got. So I'm going to be doing a holiday haul, and then separately I'll be doing a sports direct haul, and then I also have a few other hauls to do, but I'm not going to upload them one after the other after the other i am going to split them up and do some different videos in between just so you guys kind of don't get bored of the hauls and stuff um but yeah let's get to it i feel like i talk really 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 fast because i have so much to say in such like i want to keep the video quite short um but i think i talk really really quickly my manager said that to me the other day like slow down you talk too quick what were you saying um but anyway that's because i get the kind of like happy that I'm filming that I talk really really loudly and also I talk really really fast as well um but yes if I stop it um I'm going to get on with the holiday haul um also if you can hear any background noise it's quite a nice day outside so people are out in the gardens and everything like that I can't help that it's a nice, nice sunny day and everyone's out in their garden so if you hear any background noise of lawn mowers children animals whatever um, people are outside so I'm going to try and film this video now and stop rambling on so the first thing I picked up was this I got this from Morrison's when we just went there to do some normal shopping um, it's just a little mug and it says little miss princess if you watched my what I got for Christmas video you would have seen I got another mug that said little miss princess on it um, I think that's from Tesco I think uh, but I got that a few months ago and that is on the side with all my makeup brushes in it um, and I just really 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 like Little Miss Princess on my cups and stuff I just think they're really really cute um, as you can see it's just pink you guys will probably be seeing a close up shot now anyways um, it's just the Little Miss Princess mug it's dishwasher safe and microwave safe so it's, it was £3 and I just thought it was really really cute so that's the first thing the next thing I picked up was this little pig um, this was from the 99p stores I think it's called 99p store 99p stores I'm not 100% sure um, but it's just this little metallic pink pig and I just thought she was really really cute it's a hot pink um, it was only 99p so I wasn't really going to pass it up but it just looks like that I just thought she was really really sweet um, and it's not the kind of piggy bank you have to break open either so that's really really cute and yeah there's that so that's what i got kind of from the random kind of stores i then went to sports direct and the shop that was on site um, i'll show you the stuff i got from the shop that was on site first the first thing i got from there was this little personalized torch keyring my mum my dad and my little brother and my older brother both got a keyring as well but they had their names on they did have my name on a keychain like they did have my name on the exact same keychain um which my mum picked up and then she picked up this one and said basically this one i think this one's a bit more suited for you and it just says princess um but that was 1.99 and i picked that up from the shop that was on site and basically this is just a little torch as you see it says princess and it can just go on your keys and basically you press in the name and then the light comes up so just hope i'm not blinding anyone i don't think it would really make any difference because it's a huge soft box light like this big and like this long over the camera so i don't think this will do anything but basically that's what it does and i just thought it was really sweet so there's that um the next thing i picked up from this same shop was this little keychain um as you can see it's just a black green catcher it was 99p and they had a light pink one, light grey and black. Um, I just chose the black one. I just thought it was really, really cute and I could put it on my bag or on my keys. And it was only 99p and I just thought it was really, really cute. So there's that. The next thing I picked up from that little shop was this little jar. Um, and it just says Fairyland Wishes Jar. 
Um, as you can see, it just says Fairyland Wishes Jar. It's got a basically a piece of paper and that you write down your wishes and put it back in here or whatever else. As you can see, it's just got glitter in there as well. It's got a little fairy charm on here as well. And it just looks like that. I think this was £1.49 or £1.99, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I just thought it was really, really cute and I just thought it looked nice in my room or something like that. And yeah, it is real glass as well. So just hope I don't break it. I just thought it was really, really sweet. And yeah, the next things I picked up from that shop were are all in this bag and it's kind of like a tissue paper bag there are two of them um and i'll just show you so i have to be careful where i'm putting things on the floor because i have a straightener on not on the carpet i have a straightener sitting there so i have to be careful i don't like throw paper on top of it or anything because i just straighten bits and i just straighten bits of my hair there we go um, if you're wondering where this shirt is from as well, um, it is a cropped shirt. I've just got a black vest top on underneath it, so I'm standing on my tippy toes. Um, and it's just black with white flowers on it. Um, it's originally from Misguided, but I picked it up from Age UK um, for 99p actually. That's a very, very good deal. And I really, really like it. Um, I will do a separate haul on the charity shop stuff as well, because I know people like them kind of hauls. I've done a charity shop haul before and I know a lot of people liked it so I thought I'd do another one. It'll be going up after the Sports Directed Holiday haul I would think and after a few other videos but I will be doing one of them. And I always talk the topic um, but I picked up these from the shop. Um, they are just rock. Just rock. Um, I picked up one I think I picked up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got nine. It was it was three for a pound, so I did pick up nine. So I spent three pounds for nine of them. Um, and I'll just show you which ones are which. I just picked up two of the world famous pink mint rock, um, which is just the original one, um, which I always had when I went on holiday when I was younger, and it's just the original plain pink mint world famous rock. Um, I picked up two of them ones. I then picked up popcorn flavoured rock. I don't like popcorn, but I don't actually like popcorn, so I probably won't like this. Um, but I just picked up the popcorn flavoured rock. Um, I then got this one, and this is cider. Let's just have don't get drunk on it. No, I'm joking. Um, I just picked up the cider flavoured rock. I then picked up licorice all sorts flavoured rock. I then also picked up cookie dough, um, I then picked up this one and this is the hot chocolate flavoured rock and I don't know how it's going to taste, if it's actually going to taste like hot chocolate but I hope it does so I just picked up the hot chocolate flavoured rock. I then also picked up the toffee apple flavoured rock, it might have different flavours of rock um, depending on where you go um, but these were the only ones, well this, I picked up one of every single flavour they had. Um, and I also picked up this one. This one actually broke. Um, and this one is the Love It or Hate It Marmite flavoured rock. Oh, I hate Marmite. Um, I originally picked this up for my dad because he likes Marmite, so I thought I'd get them kind of this as a joke and see if he likes it or not. Um, but then originally, when I first went to the shop, I only picked up the two pink mint flavoured ones and the Marmite flavoured. Um, and then my dad said when I got back, you should have got one of each because you could have done like a taste test on YouTube. Um, I don't really think about that because it's not really the kind of stuff I would normally eat, normally just the pink rock ones. Um, but I thought that might actually be a good idea, so if you guys would like to see kind of like a taste test, I will probably throw up if I try to eat the Marmite one. Because I hate Marmite, I even hate the smell of Marmite. Um, but these are, I think these, yeah, they're all made in Britain, I think, when they say made in Britain. Um, so they're all made in Britain, but they have got loads of e-numbers in. So let's just hope I'm not bouncing off the ceiling if I try these. Um, but if you guys would like to see like a taste test on these, then let me know in the comments below. Because I'd quite happily do that kind of video. Um, and, you know, let's just hope I don't eat them first. Um, but yeah, there's them. 
Um, next, I went to Sports Direct. I picked up two things from Sports Direct on holiday. And then we went to another Sports Direct when we weren't when we weren't on holiday after we were home and everything. And I picked up another thing from there. And then I also picked uh, two things online when my mum did an order from there. So I think I'm going to do a completely separate Sports Direct haul. Um, but I'll just throw in the two things I brought while I was on holiday, just in case no one really wants to watch. Everything I've got, I'll just throw in the stuff I brought while I was on holiday. Um, so the first things I picked up were these socks, and they are junior size 1 to 6, and they were originally 6 99 and they were down to £3.49. And they're just ankle socks. Um, these were from the boys section. Obviously, these are also come in men's sizes, so from like 7 to 11 or something like that. I didn't actually know they had the women's version of these with like super on and everything like that until I got home and looked on the Sports Direct website. By then, I already had these ones, so I didn't get the other ones. Um, so they come with Superman, The Flash, and Batman. Um, and I just thought they were already kind of cool and I quite like them so I picked them up and they were only £3.49 for three pairs of socks so yeah there's them um, then the next thing I picked up from there was this hat um, this is a this is a Batman um, snapback cap as you can see it just has the Batman logo there and then it's just completely black um, they also had a Superman they also had a Superman one of these um, but I didn't get the Superman one because Batman's my favourite um, and it just has the official sticker on there um, which is officially licensed Batman headwear I know some I know some people who leave these on and I know some people who don't so I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that yet um, but there's that um, if you follow me on Instagram you probably would have already seen this because I think by now I would have put the pictures out that I took me wearing this. Um, this was originally 1999 DC comic snapback cap and it's the men's one. I think they also have it in junior um, but I didn't know that when I bought it. I just tried it on in the shop and bought it. Um, there's the tag. Focus camera. Originally 1999 and it's the men's and it was 70% off it's down to 8.99. So I just picked up that. I just thought it was really, really cool and I actually don't have a snapback cap. I have a bowler hat, I have beanies, I have stuff like that, but I don't have a snapback cap. And I always, always, always have just wanted a plain black, but the fact that it has Batman on and it is just all black makes me love this even more. Um, I was going to wear it, oh well I was going to wear it. But um, I don't think it quite suited. Maybe, possibly. I didn't think it looked quite right. Uh, well, that's what it looks like, basically. Um, I know, I know some people wear them lower down, but it ruins my hair if I do that. So I'm not going to do that. But I quite like it. But I'm going to leave this on for the rest of the video now because I wanted to wear it in the first place, but didn't. Um, but yes, anyways, that is everything in this video. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I will link my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest in the description box below. So please like this video and subscribe. Um, if you don't have a YouTube, you can always leave me comments or talk or talk to me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have all of them links in the description box below, and I love talking to you all. Um, but yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.